Hi, welcome to the channel Learn English. Today we are talking about Wales. Wales is a part of the United Kingdom. This country is amazing, astonishing and full of myths and legends. It is bordered by England to the east, the Irish Sea to the north and west, and the Bristol Channel to the south. Wales is not a very big country, with a population of about 3 million people. There are two official languages in Wales, Welsh and English. Wales is called Camry in Welsh. The national costume of Welsh people is so cute and marvellous. Much of Wales's landscape is mountainous. The highest mountain is Snowdon. There are also a lot of beautiful lakes in the country. Wales's picturesque landscapes attract tourists from all over the world. Wales is primarily an agricultural country. There aren't many big cities in Wales. The capital of the country is Cardiff, which is considered to be the largest media centre in the UK outside of London. There is a Roman castle and modern shopping centre in the city, as well as a cathedral and university. Cardiff is also an industrial city. Wales has its own interesting culture, including language, customs, holidays and music. The country is represented by the symbol of the Red Welsh Dragon, which is depicted on the national flag. The flag of Wales, brought to Britain by Romans, is one of the oldest in the world. Other symbols of the country are leeks and daffodils. These are usually worn on St. David's Day, which is celebrated on the 1st of March. St. David is the patron saint of Wales. There are two anthems in Wales, the general one, God Save the Queen, and Land of My Fathers, performed by male voice choir. The country has its own national game called rugby. One-fifth of the territory is considered to be the whole national park. To be exact, there are three national parks – Snowdonia, Brecon and Pembrokeshire Coast. Wales has also four areas of outstanding natural beauty. Wales has three UNESCO World Heritage Sites – castles and town walls of King Edward in Gwynedd, Blinavon Industrial Landscape and Pont Casalfter Aqueduct and Canal. The castles and town walls of King are well-preserved monuments. Examples of the colonization and defense works carried out throughout the reign of Edward I, 1272 and the military architecture of the time. Blinavon Industrial Landscape, the area around Blinavon, represents South Wales as the world's major producer of iron and coal in the 19th century. Pont Casalfta Aqueduct and Canal is a feat of civil engineering of the Industrial Revolution, completed in the early years of the 19th century. The Pont Casalfta Aqueduct is the longest aqueduct in Britain, 307 meters, 1007 feet. Wales is the land of mystical King Arthur. The famous Romanian British leader fighting against the invading Anglo Saxons. Arthur's fortress, Camelot, is the site of one of the three Roman legendary forts in Britain. Wales is believed to have more castles per square kilometer 
than anywhere else in the world. There are 641 castles on the territory of Wales. Wales has many wonderful traditions. It is the land of songs. The Welsh take great pride in their choirs and their songs have traveled in the world from the singing valleys. One of the oldest cultural competitions, the Royal National Eisteddfod, takes place every year at the beginning of August. It is an eight-day festival of music and poetry to celebrate Welsh language, art and culture. It is the largest and most popular festival in Wales and attracts thousands of visitors. It was Wales.